Mary, tell us a little bit about the Lyric Theater Group. Lyric was founded in 1952. So this is our 62nd season. We're very proud of that. We've been in the greater Portland community uh, for decades. Um, we are a volunteer community theater. We originally were, the, the founders were um, members of Portland Players. And when Portland Players decided to focus more on plays than musicals, there was a group of very ardent musical fans that decided that they would like to produce musicals. And so Lyric has always had uh, as its mission uh, producing musicals. And so we are completely, we're nonprofit and we're completely volunteer based. And how many shows a year do you do? We do, lately we've been doing four shows a year plus one play at the end of the year. Uh, next year we're actually producing five musicals in the year, so we're, we're getting a little ambitious. <laughs> and where do you get your volunteers from, the actors, et cetera? We really draw from the community, the Southern Maine uh, acting community and, and musical community is incredibly rich with talent. Um, and so it's, we always have open auditions and so far that's always worked really well for us. And where do you get your funding from? Funding, again, is completely, we're a nonprofit, so it is completely from donations from the very generous Greater Portland community and our audience, our ticket sales. And uh, have you always been in this location on Sawyer Street in South Portland? No, interestingly enough, we we started in Portland. Uh, we used to perform at during high school, and a fire in the 1970s um, occurred and destroyed the old rehearsal space and so we were nomads for a few years and then uh, through the benef uh, beneficiary uh, Cedric Thomas who the Playhouse is now named after uh, we bought this property and have been here since the mid 70s. And what's the range of musical that you do are they all just classic musicals are you doing any modern ones what do you, or what's your sort of uh, play bill? Uh, we we try to do a range of a range of shows to uh, appeal to all sorts of different tastes. We opened our season this past year with Avenue Q, which is very modern, very up to date, uh, a recent Broadway uh, hit. And uh, but we also do Broadway classics, um, and we've done you know everything from The Sound of Music and My Fair Lady. So we really try to um, try to do uh, a lot of different uh, shows that will appeal to different audiences. We try to do uh, shows that would appeal to children as well. We've done shows like Annie and Oliver. Oliver this past season. Uh, so we try, to, we try to present a range of, of theatrical offerings. I returned from Crete this very day and there is no play. Now what was everyone yelling about? John, we're here on the set of A Funny Thing Happened to the, on the Way to the Forum. Great opening number, greatest opening number in the history of musical theater. Tell us about the show. Well, you get no argument from me on the greatest opening number, certainly. The show is a classic. It's one of the reasons we chose this particular, uh, this particular piece. We wanted to do something that was just fun. When jokes normally live maybe a week on the internet, these particular jokes have lived for 2,000 years. They're based on the, on the, on the uh, plays of Plautus, uh, an ancient Roman uh, uh, author. So I think it's, it, it speaks a lot to the quality and the caliber, in addition to the fact that when it was created, they injected quite a bit of the vaudeville type humor, which I think just makes it a classic. It's got a lot of different elements. It's got the humor, it's got a good love story, it's got a good chase scene. Uh, tell us a little bit more, what's the show about if people don't know? Well, it's about a slave, Pseudolus, who wants to get his freedom. In order to do this, he has to find a way for his master hero to get the girl, Philia. In between all this, however, there are a lot of other factors keeping him from that. And it's all about how Pseudolus copes from one moment to the next and always manages to proceed. It's, there's, I liken it a little bit to uh, Bugs Bunny and how he always manages to come out in front of Elmer Fudd. It's, it's got that kind of fun and zany feel to it. And it's, like you said, it's got a great love story. It's got the chase scenes. It's got just some, a little something for everybody. And do you think it still resonates with people? Do still, even younger audiences, they still find it funny, do you think? Well, that's a good question. We'll find out, certainly, but I think it will. I think the humor is there. I think the characters are great. Uh, we have certainly tried to push the boundaries of it, and we're, we're playing it just as big as we possibly can. We want our actors to have fun. We want them to be challenged. We want our audiences to be challenged, too. We hope that it's going to be one of those shows where if you blink, you'll miss something important. It's going to be that fast-paced. And In this show, there's a lot of different things that happen all in different places, almost all at the same time. Is that difficult to stage? It's incredibly difficult to stage, and this isn't the largest stage in the world. So it's all about making it look bigger and working within the confines and making 18 people work on a set that's probably only about 25 feet across and maybe 20 feet deep. 
I, I think one of the selling points of the show is the Stephen Sondheim music. He was challenged back in the day to write a, a conventional show. Someone said, can't you write a regular musical? So he did, and it was for him. There were some great numbers, they're all hummable, and you walk out with a very different feel from what you find in other Sondheim shows. You have, of course, all the classic humor that goes with it, and I think it's, it's really got some tremendous appeal. And if people want more information about the plays that are coming up, if they want to volunteer, if they want to donate, where can they go and get more information? Absolutely. We'd love to have more volunteers and more patrons in our audience. Uh, and they can go to www.lyricmusictheater.org.